For some, this could look like the face of another planet. But for these EOD technicians, this is their gold mine. When U.S. units fire on the ranges, we're required to go out and clear all the dead, uh, dead ordnance off the ranges uh, to ensure that there's no explosive re residue out there for civilians and for other people that own the land. So they set out on the hunt. Most of the time, it's pretty obvious. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell. And then we'll do, uh, we'll get a closer look. And with almost every piece of ordnance, there are key features that will tell you whether or not the item has been expended or not. With their experience and firm sense of intuition, these techs don't have to search for long. Um, right now we found something that might or might not be a UXO, so I'm going to carefully clear the ground around it and try and find out more information. It's a, uh, a thrill to, to ensure that they get out and they're getting training, that they're doing uh, actual operations, clearing ordnance, getting their hands on pieces, parts of ordnance so they can better ad identify those things. So when they do get to combat, they've already dealt with those uh, types and they're able to identify it. This is Jones, 155 millimeter HE, no mover. This is when the process becomes critical. One wrong move with this piece of ordnance and this gold mine could instantly become more like a minefield. It definitely keeps you accountable because you know every mistake you make could be your last. So you really got to think about what you're doing, pay attention to what's going on around you. For Master Sergeant Burkhardt, watching his junior techs get hands on time is a proud moment. Yeah. Definitely rewarding. Definitely when you finally start seeing it click, um, they've done their book work, they've done some hands on training, and they actually go out to the ranges and actually put all of it together. And you've seen it click, you know that you put the schoolhouse and the, the senior techs out in the field have made it all happen for them. And the reward for their hard work? That is the junior tech's proud moment. Damn. Marine Corporal Jen Calloway, Combined Arms Training Center, Camp Fuji, Japan. That's two, that's two, one, five, five,